how to use a Sony E-mount lens on a Nikon Z camera. Let's do this. Hi, it's Jimmy Chen here from Red35 and welcome back once again to my Tech Tuesday and 2 Minutes Review. And today, we are going to look at this magic ring here. And this is Megadap ETZ21 Pro. So this little guy here is super, super cool. It's fantastic. It's essential. No, I think it is a must-have for any Nikon Z camera owners. Why? Because this ring allows you to use any Sony E-mount lenses. Not just mount it, but use it for full compatibility. Imagine that. Sounds good, right? And I'm not lying to you because I have been using the Sony E518 on the Nikon setup for the past few months. In fact, ever since I got it, <laughs> because I know that I already have the Nikon 40mm f2, which is a fantastic little lens, but I wanted something just slightly tighter. 50 is always kind of like my go-to when it comes to like uh, half-length portraits when I'm doing my jobs. So I wanted a 50 lens. So when I look at Nikkor's catalog, they were about four to 500 quid, which is, you know, reasonable, but still on the more expensive side. And suddenly what caught my eyes is Sony. Sony's 50mm 1.8 was on sale for £130. Yeah, you heard that were £130 from Amazon with metal mount, not plastic mount from the Nikkor. And it's tiny. It's a lot smaller than Nikkor's version as well. So, you know, then I read some review about the 518 from Sony. It seems to be a decent lens. And why not try for £130, right? You know, it, it won't hurt my pocket and it's fine. And this adapter allows me to use this lens in full compatibility. So when I mount this together and I started using it and I found for the last two months, there is absolutely no hiccup whatsoever. I was able to use all features. I detect, face detect, all the 3D trackings in the continuous AF, everything works with this Sony lens. And this is the first time I've seen an adapter allows me to do that without any performance degradation. Like I have used Metabones before and while they does the job in a way, but there's always that heavy lag here and there and the autofocus never really do properly. And uh, so I always have problems with Metabones uh, adapter, apart from the speed booster, which allows you to use basically change the crop factor and allow the aperture to be a little bit brighter and so forth. But apart from that, when it comes to AF performance, Metabones was never really my thing, you know, and I have to switch it on to menu focus to do anything properly. But this, this really is the first adapter that I've used that allows me to have full AF performance from a different mount. <laughs> this is absolutely fantastic. And because of that, now any Nikon owners can have basically access to the Sony catalog. If you have the budget, you can go for the G Master lenses, really. And then you can have all the like really cool uh, Sony large aperture lenses and tele lenses that may not have in the Nikon catalog or perhaps cheaper, like what I did with the 518. So this is pretty cool. Another cool thing is, of course, the build quality of this adapter. Full metal, super solid, and I cannot fault the craftsmanship of it. It's just really, really nice. And it's only about one millimeter thick, excluding the mount bit because it's kind of sticking into the camera. So in terms of actual thickness to the lens, it's about one millimeters. So this is super lightweight, super solid, which is really good. It doesn't really protrude anything. Once you mount it to a Sony lens, you don't feel it. And that's the good side of it. And I really, really enjoy using this particular uh, uh, Megadap E to Z. 21 Pro adapter is a bit weird name to say, but then uh, yeah, it's a really good adapter here. The only thing that perhaps I would complain is not about build quality, but the lack of weather sealness, the weather ring at the back. If it has it, oh, this will be kind of like the perfect things ever. And uh, yeah, if they have that, that means that if you have a weatherproof lens and you mount onto the adapter and to the camera body, if your camera body is also weatherproof and you have a complete weatherproof system. At, at this moment in time, unfortunately, there's no rubbering at the back of the adapter. That means it's not, and it's not recommended in using in heavy rain situations. Light drizzle, you may just about to get away with it, but I wouldn't recommend it if, I, if I'm you. But I have I have used it in the rain and uh, because it's my job and uh, so far it hasn't 
give me any problem but i do try to make sure that the the surrounding is dry whenever i can and i wouldn't use any blower because you, once you blow it while the lens is attached then that you may actually push the uh, moisture into the camera so i wouldn't recommend it you may want to dismount it and just clean it and dry it off and then mount it back on again so that will be my recommendation but other than that this is definitely a solid option for any nikon z camera owners so the conclusion is yes you should definitely get the megadap etz 21 pro adapter if you're a nikon z camera owner and also want to use other people's lenses especially from the sony ecam and uh, yeah this is it this is my review and hopefully i've done it i've done the two minutes review <laughs> right and uh, but yeah to me personally i think this adapter is well worth the money definitely i mean there is no uh performance degradations there you can absolutely use any e-mount lenses any third-party e-mount lenses as well not just from sony but like let's say uh, viewtrox and other people who make sony e-mount uh, uh optics so that is very very good um i have been using this professionally actually yes profession with the sony e the 150 here with the nikon set f uh for the last three months and uh, you may have actually seen some of the images that i have posted with the nikon ZF review and some of you actually did question me did you use a sony lens on a nikon z camera i said yes i did and this is all because of this little magic ring right here so fantastic megadep is definitely done a great job here allowing this possibility to happen like i said though i i'm hoping that the next version will have weather sealing in the back so making the entire system weatherproof and that will be really really good um so that i will be able to you know perhaps get a weather sealed uh, sony email lens and mount it onto the system and still having that weatherproofness for as a system so that will be good um I, I do find me I, as much as a night nickel lenses, uh, but they are a little bit pricey these days. For instance, the Nikon's 518 is about 450 to 500 pounds and uh, the sony 51a is 130 it's like basically a third of the price so i can't believe you know the price difference is so big you know between the two lenses there and even if i want a slightly faster 50 uh, let's say i want the 51.4 nikon doesn't even offer that option you have to go all the way to 51.2 which is you know two and a half grand that's a lot of money for that lens but i can get a sony zeiss 51.4 for about a grand, brand new. And even if you want to go and use one, it's about 600 quid. So that really is good. I mean, I think that um, uh, for a lot of uh, users, if you don't want to go fall out, you know, like uh, you know, empty your pocket into just one optics from Nikko, you can now have a choice to use that sum of money to get two to even three lenses, you know, from Sony. Um, that is really good. Of course, Sony has some really expensive lenses too, like the G Master 5140 is about two grand. So similar price as the Nikko version, but you can have some cheaper options. We're still a good option if you don't mind, you know, just a little bit of edge performance here and there. Uh, but for me as a portrait guy, all I care about is central, central sharpness and also how you render the images because that will give me the feel of the, uh, the photo itself. And to me, I think the Zeiss is actually quite good. So I may actually start to buy one or two of these Zeiss lenses while they are still available because now Sony is stopped collaborating with Zeiss so you know they're going to go all out with their Sony G Master as the kind of like pro range uh, optics for themselves uh, so the Zeiss is kind of in the back catalog now while still available I may just want to collect one or two of those before they all disappear from the new market of course you can still get used uh, but yeah that's it this is my two minutes review and I think that this is yeah definitely worth your considerations here if you're in the Nikon Z cam and also wanted to use something from the Sony cam and <laughs> that is really really cool um the, this is it you know what to do now thumb if you like this video and sub if you want to stay in touch with other things like this because I have an other adapter here also from Megadep as you actually can see from the cap here it's Canon <laughs> yes I have another adapter right here so if you want to watch that review, remember to stay tuned. Bye for now. So welcome to the bonus session. 
I genuinely vouch for this adapter here because it's just so good. And I'm not really joking right here. I'm not trying to do anything. I don't even have an affiliate link. I don't even earn money from this. <laughs> and uh, But I just like to tell you guys about how good uh, uh, this adapter really is and really save you a lot of money if you're considering now you have access to cheaper and equivalent optics from different manufacturers. So that is good, right? I know you're excited to maybe hear about the Canon version, but I will tell you a little bit more later. Not in this particular bonus section, that will be another review, right? But what I want to tell you guys about what my next video is, yeah, it's gonna be something special. Um, this guy here, this is the Godox, not Godox, pronounce it correctly, Godox, Godox. Godox <laughs> uh, wireless uh, mic kit to review. Um, so this is going to be my next review here. And uh, this is a budget version. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that in that particular review. So stay tuned for that. This is actually a very fantastic option for those who are on the budget. In fact, I'm recording this entire video using this mic right here. So if you think the sound is good, then it's worth checking out next time. So um, I do have other gadgets lying around on my desk at the moment, which I'm going to be slowly filtering for all my Tech Tuesday in two minutes reviews. Some of them will be two minutes. Some of them may be a little bit longer. As you can see from my last three reviews that uh, I've gone way over because, yeah, those are just bigger product, got more things to talk about. But things like an adapter, yeah, it's pretty good, right? And uh, hopefully I made the two minutes. I haven't checked my edit yet, so I'm not entirely sure whether I did make a two minutes. Maybe not, but even if not, I didn't think that I was overdoing it for too long. So uh, hopefully... I was okay. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Once again, remember uh, to share the news everywhere to help me build this little playlist here for gadgets and tech stuff for photographers and creators because, uh, uh, you know, there are a lot of little products, I think, that deserves uh, some attention, some exposure, because uh, most people tend to watch cameras and also lens reviews, but a lot of these gadgets, audio stuff, they just really basically get left behind. And uh, while they are good, not many people actually know about them. So uh, this is what this playlist is all about. Um, uh, this kind of series of reviews that I'm doing right now is to hopefully open up to let people know about these little products there. I think it's good. Um, the, so majority of the things that you see in this review is actually handpicked by me. Um, I do receive a lot of emails from companies saying that, can you review this? Can you review that? I don't always say yes to everything, but if I see the specs, I would say, okay, send it me, send it to me to have a look. And uh, uh, if that interests me, then uh, I will do something about it. So, so far, everything I selected, hopefully, is to your liking. <laughs> and uh, because I think, to me anyway, it helps my job and helps what I do as a photographer and as a creator. So anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, I will speak to you all very soon. Bye for now.